Columbia. We're looking forward to today's events, including the spacewalk by Winston and Tikal. Hey, good morning, Houston. We're looking forward to that also. I haven't been out yet, but I think it's a great NASA day for a spacewalk. We think so, too. Scott and Doy in their restraints on the this, uh, television live uh, from Columbia showing uh, on the left, uh, astronaut Winston Scott, and on the right, uh, astronaut Takao Doy. Scott, uh, distinguishable by red stripes on his spacesuit. In position uh, for the retrieval of the Spartan satellite. As we continue to watch uh, live television of the Spartan satellite, also in view is the uh, tip of Columbia's mechanical arm. Commander Kevin Kriegel uh, flying uh, Columbia around uh, to position uh, Scott and Doy uh, for the uh, capture of the satellite. Scott and Doy have been uh, spacewalking now for one hour and 45 minutes. Columbia is above the Pacific Ocean, uh, off the coast of Southeast Asia. Its uh, course will take it uh, south above the Central Pacific. Are you able to reach? Yes, yeah, so. I can reach it. Okay, let's hold right here. Let's stop right here. Okay. Well, if you're ready, we'll do our thing. Okay, I'm free drift. You gotta go. Okay, the, the cow. Yes. Now, one more time. Can you reach the scope? Yes, I can reach it. Okay, on my signal, I am going to grab a pin and the GPS target. Okay. And as I understand it, you're going to grab the scope. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay, I'm going to give you a standby, standby capture. That's what I will say. Okay. You understand? Yes. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. Standby, standby, capture. Okay. Now I've got my end. I got my end. Okay. Now. Now that we've got it, Mr. Doy, yes. let's decide what we're going to do with it. You hold on to your canister. Yes. Let's roll the Spartan right so that it's level in the bay and I can reach my canister. Do you understand? Yes. 
Okay, let's do that very, very slowly now. We, go, we are going to pitch the Spartan down. Okay, pitch okay. the Spartan down. Okay, let's do that very slowly right now. That's a good rate right there, Mr. Doy. Okay, looking good. It's coming, looking good. Keep it coming. Keep it coming, looking really good. Okay, let's stop right there. I'm going to stop. See what we got. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, I'll tell you what, we need to, uh, let's level it out, let's just, just level it. Okay. Okay. Now, let's bring it in my direction, just maybe an inch. Okay. Okay, let's stop there. Now, let's bring it forward about an inch. Now, let's stop there. Okay, now, can you see your guide? Your yeah. guide? I can see it. I can see mine. Okay, let's bring it down into the to the top of the guide very okay. really slowly. I can come my direction. That is uh, in between two. Okay, same here. In good. Need to come my direction, just maybe a half an inch. Okay. Now let's bring it on down. And bring it down more. Okay. Stop. All stop. I think uh, the roll cue we need to give you from inside here. Oh, yeah. And the cow. Yes. You need to bring your side down so it's a roll. Okay, how's that? Uh, it's still not level. So it's a cow. Yes. Look. Okay. And that looks good. And the arm is coming down. Okay. Yeah, the room is now horizontal. I'm pitching up. Copy, Tom. I'm with us in Mission Control, providing insight to uh, astronaut Tammy Jernigan. Uh, Tammy, um, Takao Doya is extending the crane, uh, turning that handle without uh, foot restraint and uh, from uh, a body position that looks uh, somewhat difficult. Um, is that uh, on purpose? Well, one of the things that we hope to evaluate uh, during this crane checkout is various body positions to facilitate operation of the crane and also to have insight as to where that crane boom is going. That crane boom extends out to over 17 feet, so obviously you have to have good visibility um, into where the crane's going so you don't bump into anything, but you also have to be able to operate the mechanisms, and right now Takao is uh, trying different body positions to see which is best to operate the crane. Columbia Houston for Kevin. In the foreground, you can see the um, power tool called the pistol grip tool. 
you just read to us. And Takao has used that to extend the crane. The crane can be extended uh, in a motorized fashion or can be extended manually by rotating a handle. There are, there are three handles on the crane. One is to move the crane from side to side or yaw the crane. The other is to move the crane up and down or pitch the crane. And then the third handle is for the manual extension and retraction of the crane. Your backpack is very close to the sun telescope. Tammy, with the uh, with the battery now on the end of the arm, they're going to be doing the same evaluations that were done earlier with the arm by itself. Uh, that's correct. They will be uh, again maneuvering the crane from side to side and up and down and in and out, uh, roll and pitch and yaw and extension and retraction with the battery on board. Um, again, the battery and subcarrier weigh close to 500 pounds, and so you're going to look at the handling characteristics of the crane when it's loaded up. Um, as opposed to the handling characteristics when there was nothing on that crane. Having uh, completed most of the operations with the crane loaded with the battery and subcarrier, the crew is now ready to remove that subcarrier from the end of the crane and then rebirth the subcarrier into the guides on the sill. Takao is extending the battery across the payload bay to its stowage location. Columbia Houston, we're getting beautiful video of that. That's a real nice view. Takao is uh, moving the crane out of the way so that Winston, um, with the help of the RMS operator, Steve Lindsay, uh, can put the uh, subcarrier and battery into position to berth back into the payload bay. Okay. Stop. Stop. 